Hello, welcome along. This is going to be the last video of the year. Well, it's Christmas and New Year. Uh, all rolled into one. Um, not done any. I think the last video I put up was my update on Sprotber. I did like the base work of the scenery and start the buildings down. Uh, just been so busy with work and that. And when I finish work, I'm tired. Um, I've not really been able to do much. All I've done really, major things, is just servicing my locos, strip them down, clean oil and all that stuff. Uh, magnetic couplings on my Daypole Pendolino and my um, my Hornby 4 VEP basically just to make it easier to couple them up when you put them on the track <laughs> not the easiest things to couple up are they so well, that's what I've done on there um, what's happening with Abbott Lane well phew, it's going to be gonna be big changes next year for it all this is going uh, it's just getting tatty and knackered and old and things I'm having problems with the track at either end the curves either end are getting a bit and, and I can't straight I can't make them any any less tight than what they are because I just ain't got the space um, so I'm there's bits I'm going to keep of the uh, buildings and stuff like that uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to completely read whole new station it's going to be a terminus I've drawn it's all drawn out ready uh, all full size drawn out on some lining paper full size so I know everything will fit um, I made a list of all my point work that I've got I don't have to buy any point work because I've used the existing track that I've got um, got a problem with this with this join here I've had problems with this join for ages even before it well, it was terminus before um, but it's got to the stage where it's it's bent so much I don't think you can see that. I have to try and. I don't think you can see that. They're rocking, and also if if you've got like a like six axles, like three axles, like the deltics and things like that, and the forty sevens, sometimes they'll, they'll get to there. The middle axle will get on that, and it'll slip. It's alright if you've got a, got coaches on it because you've got the momentum, but it will keep it going. But it's getting a bit. I've tried dropping the I've tried dropping the supports this end as well, and it's not made any difference. So, um, so yeah, it's getting a bit. You know, look at the gap there now. <laughs> it used to be like that. So, um, so that was that. Um, I've also bought a uh, Eurostar Hornby Eurostar, and I, I bought it after I, I decided I was redoing the layout anyway. But I'll just show you right the same size, aren't it? There's a Mark IV, and I'll just comp watch this tunnel. Mark IV coach. Nice long, longest coach that I've had when I planned the layout. No problem, no problem. Right, you're a star coach. What's this? I'll try and... <laughs> and it sticks. <laughs> it's, it's hitting the side of the tunnel. And it's the same at the other end. It hits the wall that goes around the back of the... In between the houses and the, and the track on, on, on this line. Um, it also hits uh, the overhead mast on the other on the main lines as well. So I can't actually run it. I didn't notice it until I actually put it on the track and run it the first time. And I thought, why is it, why is it slowing down? And yeah. So obviously obviously when I do any structure, when I put the track down, I'll use this to mark the, you know, the any sort of um, edges and things like that. So that'll be... <laughs> But uh, it's not so much. It's not the throw of that side. It, it, it's on the inside that's the problem. So, so yeah. So uh, I won't have that problem when I build a new layout. But uh, I say I'm going to keep bits, bits of this layout, buildings, stuff like that. Um, I'll say I'll, I'll do a more in-depth video and actually start uh, making it next year. But probably about February time, I'll probably start uh, doing that. I'm hoping to go to the swap meet. At the race course on the 30th. Now, trouble is, this year the 30th is on a Saturday, and I'm working Friday night. I'm getting up as three in the morning, um, go to the swap meet, and then I'm work, I'll start work at six o'clock on the Saturday. But I've got like Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday off, so that won't be so bad. But a uh, bit, bit of a bit of a pain this year with it, with the way my shifts have worked out. But um, but yeah, that's what's happening next year. Um, Adwick Lane's going. I've, I've even got. It's going to have Adwick in the title. The the Luna. It's going to have Adwick in the title, but it's going to have going to be won't be Adwick Lane. It'll be something different. Adwick something, right? Um, so yeah, so that will be that. Um, I, I want to keep the park bits. The not the park this bit, but all the bits I've put in the park because you know um, I'll keep these. But actually, I've I've seen some motorised ones on eBay fairground rides, and where the fairgrounds are going to go. I'll just do a quick walk along here. It's going to go here because this field will be hard to go in, obviously, because the terminus will be here. Um, 
so so this board it'll, it'll be for, for and i'll keep all that along the back for it and this will be this will be the park and i have like a fairground on it and things like that so that'll be that'll keep that and i have a little bit of a little bit of a street there because the new station entrance is going to station building is going to be there and an entrance here because i'm gonna i'm, I'm going to redo this entrance because i've got to scratch built that so i'm gonna cut it cut it down to cut it to make it to fit there and add a bit on to that but more as i say more about that when i actually get get around to doing it because I, I can probably explain it a bit more then when i've got the plan down i can lay the plan on the board and i can show you exactly uh what i'm doing but uh as i say not had much time to do a lot but um i say but, but i did get all my loco serviced and stuff like that so i was quite uh pleased about that but uh but yeah as i say it's going to be a complete change on this on this on this part of the layout um droxford i just want to do some a bit more foliage on it not much to do that it's practically complete droxford apart from foliage really um uh, but i've seen some videos where people have uh sort of done some very very cheap way of making foliage out of rubber you know you know, you know the foam rubber um sponges dishcloth sponges things so i'm gonna i'm gonna have a look along experiment with that um i'll just try and keep costs down really so so that'll be for like droxford and also sproper as well um so i can do a bit more uh with them though It'd be a bit lot cheaper and also when i do do the new bit when i make this this new layout i can use similar uh, methods on here just for bits and bobs as well so that's it really for this year thank you very much very, very much for watching hope you had a good christmas enjoy your new year and uh yeah look forward to starting a new layout in the new year and uh if you've got any modeling projects you're starting uh good luck with those as well thanks for watching take care bye for now